is it student learning so i would like to uh, discuss and understand the perspective of dr ripu ranjan about how can we teach sustainability to the new generations can you sir put some light on this first of all thank you vinash <coughs> thank you vinash first of all i would like to thank that uh, you are approaching to what the sustainable so we really want to teach the global community about the sustainability as per the goal concerned that is a 17 agenda by the united nations sustainable development goals 2030 along with that international and internationalization policies related with the sustainable development delayed the African Union Agenda 2063, another country, Uganda Development Agenda 2014, and especially in India, India Growth Index, India at 75, that go to lead India 2047. Your question lead to the how to teach the forthcoming, I mean, current and forthcoming generation toward the sustainability and sustainable development goals. So, before proceeding further, we must know what are these goals, because goals is nothing, that is a challenge given by United Nations to help the community, save the community and develop the community with your inclusive growth in that because we all are traveler on this earth we are traveling for the good cause our all deeds will going to benefit to the entire society so lead to the that involvement till date 17 goals united nation fix the target 169 target 3529 event conducted in this area and till date 1327 publications accomplished by the united nations department of economy and social affairs and action related 6627 this challenge Led by United Nations related with the no poverty on the earth. No poverty on the earth. That's the goal number one. No poverty. How it comes and how we can reduce or remove from the society. Global leaders are interested to listen through the forthcoming generation how we can remove poverty from this beautiful world. We are 7.78 billion across the world. And if our 40 to 60 percent people are, especially in the South South India, South South countries, are approaching this problem. So we need to solve that. Here, uh, Lots of young bodies are there, lots of forthcoming generations are there, lots of forthcoming industries are there, lot of forthcoming visionary leaders are there. I like to request, try to think that ki which way we can solve the, this problem related to how no property goals shall be achieved. Lots of food saving policies are there, food bank are there, and we also uh, got lots of advertisement related to the society. Second, related goals is the zero hunger. Still, we all are lucky ones. We become independent in 1947, and we have the strong constitution. But still on this earth, Lots of countries become independent from lots of issues. Even if I'm talking about that in South, South Sudan, 
the, the country become independent in 2011. 2011. They need, they are looking from the young body to just help us, help us and solve our problem, how to be sustained in this society. So this is also a challenge led by United Nations, just zero hunger, how it happened. For that, we need to understand the our agri products, agri industry, and how we can extend this agri industry. So people will not going to be such types of problems. Third, related with the good health and well-being. Still, health and sanitation is a big issue. Again, we as an Indian, we are very lucky one that we are at least at par the level, but still in far flung area, we need to achieve these goals also. So young generations are requested by the United Nations provide the pathway to solve this issue. And they have also created lots of policy related to the interns and accelerations especially in the asia africa development council we have also young internship programs international internship programs and we are urging to the nations just support the, these goals fourth basic concept related to the quality education why i like to request i like to ask some questions to the audience this quality education for the education for what can you tell me anyone? Education for the quality life related with you want to be upgrade himself, herself and society. If we will solve, we will get right education, definitely we will solve to the society. And if we will solve to society effective, definitely we will get extra mileage to himself, herself, myself and society itself. Next, related with the fifth goal, gender equality. Still, that is a big, 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 big problem in the society. Means some work, we, we divided the society. We need to understand all our human beings first. All our human beings first and all have same epidemiology to hold the society. Because as for the biological cause of concern, everyone have a 10, 10 to the power 10 ms stone, neuron, and merely we are using very less amount of our brain for the betterment of ourselves and society. Next goal related with the clean water and sanitation. This is also awareness programs, UN is also running, Government of India is also running, and across the world this program is running now. Affordable and clean energy because our natural resources, ample related to sun energy, renewable energies, wind energies, green energy, we are going to migrate from the this physical hydropowers and uh, electropowers and like that. So we need to find out the way. Next, related with the decent work and economic growth because country strength depends on the economic growth or if we will help and support country as a conclusive development inclusive growth definitely country will go if country will grow our society itself will grow if our society will grow definitely we will grow so through that strategy Next, ninth goal related with the United Nations Sustainable Development and related with the industry, innovation or infrastructures. Because creativity, innovation is the basic key pillar, it must be basic key pillar for the any developed and grown society. Since last decade to decade, we are deprived and stopped by the our leader means people are not able to understand especially 
India, Indian people's literacy, a very least amount of people's available to think, able to contribute to the society. Because we have a demo, demographic dividend, but we are not contributing to society, especially in the development of service and products. We need to create lots of services, lots of products, and automatically the problem will go to solve and sort it out. Next goals related with the reduced inequalities and 11 that is a sustainable city and communities. Towards responsible consumption and production. Today when we we take in uh, lunch and we saw the situation wastage of foods and other things. So we need to be very cautious because uh, sustainable goals is not a very big thing. They want adoption in our day to day life. They give us the challenge. Next, related with the climate actions, we need to be climate action also because uh, people are using energy and uh, especially ozone layer and daily decreasing the values of uh, if ozone layer will issue lots of problems will issue for us. Next, we also think life below water. But especially uh, when you go to the sea bay and uh, lots of turbine are there, lots of turbine fuel are there. Means what do you think? Means life below water are not authorized to live in this earth. All are creatures, all are the God creatures. And our duty must be think about them also. Next, life on the land and last and very important that the peace, justice and strong institutions. Overall, if we want to give lessons to the society and especially we want to teach sustainable development goals to the society, so we need to adopt these practices into our day to day life. And last, that is 17 goals fixed by the United Nations Development Organization, Economic Affairs, that is support from all the community related with the diplomatic community, related with the civil society, and related especially with corporate society also. So they are requesting from these three entities of the society, civil society, diplomatic societies, and corporate society. Just contribute and give the big mileage to the sustainable development goals and automatically all problem is resolved and our world will be very sustainable, resilient, and powerful for the live on the water and live below the water, on the air, below the air and on the land. So this way we can teach, we can give the direction to the our fourth generation to understand sustainable development goals. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, uh, for explaining all aspects of uh, 17 sustainable goals. Uh, in discussion with that, uh, I have a further question. Uh, I want to ask to Mr. John about uh, what is the context of uh, the sustainability, especially in the African region, and what challenges uh, which you are facing there? Can you just give some 